So I have my uh, developer friends who have been using TradingView since long time. And now they have also started using uh, Go charting with Libby script. So I welcome uh, both of them and they will be telling you step by step how you can quickly convert TradingView PineScript indicator to Libby script. So hey, hi guys, welcome to this video. Uh, Hello. Hello. How Hi. are you? Yeah, yeah, we're doing good. Okay, okay. So yeah, so can you quickly explain uh, these guys so that they can convert the indicators? Okay. So let's start with uh, how Lippy is structured. So Pine and Lippy, there are some differences. Like uh, if you if you see in Pine, they use like spaces as scope, similar to Python. But uh, in our Lippy, we use like curly braces for scoping, like similar to JavaScript. If you know JavaScript, it, it will be pretty similar. Otherwise, the syntax is pretty similar. There are some differences, like uh, let's say some loops and like for loop is not still available and the switch case is not available still there. Some drawing tools are not there currently like uh, line boxes and those but uh, you can write similar indicators and you can even convert the most popular indicators from pine script to lippy easily and there are many hosted uh, lippy scripts as well for you to use that you can use uh, without writing a single line of code so uh, we, if we open the if you open the go chatting terminal so here you can access your scripts so here you can you, you can write your code it will give you real time uh, what errors are there and not and then if you can see there is a chat gpt button as well right so if you click on that that will take you to the model that we have trained that is trained on converting, let's say, Pine to Lippy, or if you want to write your own scripts, right? So let's 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 first start with a simple indicator. So you can you can also tell this the model to compile even if you if you type like can you compile it please as well so like it will it will talk to gochatting.com and uh, give you if it's a valid code or not and if it's not a valid code it can also correct itself and give you the correct code so let's try to run it So as, as you can see that uh, chat GPT has gave you a code and it also runs successfully. So next, uh, we also have a reference manual. So if, 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 if you are familiar with the code, you can even search for functions, whatever functions are there, types, operators, basic uh, programming, Things. So you can search there what functions are available, what uh, what is the syntax of it. We have they have also given some uh, examples as well, and also they contain like what arguments the functions accepts, and they have some description. It's a pretty good des uh, description in my opinion. So. So what I can see is, uh, I can see uh, these functions are very similar to uh, Pine script, but I think uh, Go charting, uh, they have uh, some differences as well. So yeah. I think from a user point of view, it will be better if uh, we can discuss the uh, differences so that we uh, a, a user can quickly attack those areas and uh, you know uh, develop their indicators. Hmm. So as we can see, like, PineScript uses the TA library for like technical analysis. So GoCharting has the TA lib, 
so it's pretty similar and after talib dot you can use the indicator what you need the data point let's say bb or ema whatever you need so in that way it is pretty similar so uh, another thing is i think uh, we have period interval also we have uh, i think there's the pine script calls its session uh, time frame they call right uh, here they call go charting calls it like time interval so if you can search the c interval dot interval and also right now time uh, regarding the charts bars open and time so GoChatting only has variables at the moment. If we can see that, let's say, uh, open time, if we have. So this is the price. These, these are pretty similar. So I think that is called open time, if, if we can search it in the search bar of the manual. Or let's 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 go to variables. Let's uh, delete the search. So we so we can see here what are the variables are there. So bar state. So bar state. It indicates like the state of the bar, whether the bar is fast bar or it's a new bar or or it's a real time bar. And bar index basically it starts from zero fr from wherever. Right now, I guess Go Chatting provides only two twenty five hundred in Lippy, so it starts from zero and goes on to history, then the real time candles like that, and also okay. this interval library also has some variables to know what is the current interval of the chart whether it's a daily or a minute chart or a weekly chart we can know from there so there is also this minute minute variable if you can see so this, this basically indicates the uh, opening minute of that bar let's say the bar opened at 905 then it's a five minute candle but it will return five only because it, the opening time of that current bar is zero five currently they don't have functions based on that only they have variables as we can see so yeah you can basically search the manual all all of the variables functions are there in the manual as we can see it's pretty helpful so so basically, this reference manual will help uh, in uh, writing the program or converting any program from PineScript to Lippy. Yeah. So this is this reference manual is uh, more important. Hmm. Basically, if 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 the let's say the code editor shows that this function is not available, you you can search here for the alternative that uh, what is this alternative function or what arguments it accepts if it gives an error that uh, this is a not a valid argument. You can see cool. okay so what i understand from both of you guys that if we have a pine script indicator so we can read that indicator like what is the function they have used what are the variables they have used what is their structure mm -hmm. and then we can simply replace those functions variables from this reference manual for go charting right yeah, so yeah. Exactly. here I think we can also see what what are the syntax, the structure they are using for functions, variables, constant, and all those things. So once we understand it in the uh, PineScript uh, code, we can simply you know uh, change the uh, what do you say the function syntax into that code, and I think that should work smoothly. If I'm yeah. not wrong. Yeah, yeah. There, are, there are few minor differences between those. Like you have to uh, respect the Lippy's language structure. If if you try to like copy and paste Pine script, it will def will not work definitely. Cool. So, so yeah. uh, 
can you guys help me out with few indicators like uh, converting and then trying to see trying to uh, you know change uh, uh, them into lippy and uh, what what are the precautions one should have while converting that okay we'll, we'll show it now so now we are converting volume uh, volume spread analysis by of fine script to lippy So this is pine script code. We pasted it in uh, lp editor. So it has uh, its version four code. So you can remove the version four; it's not required. And pine script uh, version four has study as indicator. So we have to convert into indicator function. Okay, as uh, I think uh, lp has only indicator, right? It does not have yes. a st uh, study or a strategy. Study, study. Earlier uh, version of uh, Pine script as a uh, study as a uh, indicator function. Now it's not available. Uh, in version five and version six, uh, they use indicator, not study anymore. So it's giving error here. Can you see? If you hover on it, it's telling mismatch input type. If you go yeah. to input in reference manual. So you can see the arguments here in input function. We don't have, they don't have type. They don't have type as argument. So that's why it's throwing an error. So we have to remove this. So it gives error because type in, in Lippy type is a keyword. So you can't use like type like that. So this input function is if it will get let's say default value you are giving a float value so it will be taking float values only let's say if you are giving default value as integer it will give it will take integer values only now if you want you can also use the library functions of input as well. Mm -hmm. Now, input. indicator is showing error uh, in indicator function. No variable with name format found. So, indicator function doesn't have format as argument. You can refer here. Okay. Reference manual. Indicator. Okay, so, what I can see is like functions are quite similar, but you know, their syntax is a little different. And that's yeah. what is showing error. It's so, argument. So, as a, yeah, the arguments. Yes, exactly. So as a user, what uh, one has to be careful is that they have to look for the argument in Lippy, uh, the, 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 the reference manual you have just shown. Yeah, you don't even have to do that. If you hover over indicator, hover once over indicator. So there it will also give you, like example also it will give you. And okay. uh, let's say when you run, let, let's say uh, just type indicator. Just in the next line, let's say in the next line, let's type just indicator. Now, no, 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 go, go back, go back. Now, control space it. Yeah, now you can expand on that. If you hover on that, it, it, it has an arrow on the side. So it will also give you the description like this here as well. Cool. Okay. So this is important that you have to be in line with the arguments. Hmm. Otherwise, it will it will give you a proper error that uh, this type this this argument accepts this type or this argument does not exist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I think that makes it a very easy to convert. So basically, they have to go line by line and check on the arguments of the functions, variables, whatever is this, whatever is there, and then uh, I think that should work, right? So can we just convert it entirely and show it to our viewers? Mm -hmm. hmm. Now, second error is throwing at uh, plot function. So, in style constant, we are fine script uses plot dot style underscore columns. So, in Lippy, the style constant is
so we can see that there is a type of so in plot these are the style constant available in libby and also it accepts a style of plot style so hmm. if we if we go in the types go in. so if we if we type plot style so after the dot it will give you all the recommendations of the all the values that is it has so you can use accordingly what whatever you need you can use bar or line whatever you need now we change the style constant uh, but again is throwing an error because of transparency in plot function uh, transparency argument we don't have uh, they, in we do, they don't have so just to delete that it will now if we if you want to give let's say if you want to have a transparency so you have to mention it within the color itself like make the color so the color dot new you can use if you want if you want give transparency you have to use color dot new function then and let's say then, then give the color and then they use opacity as the value so zero means it's fully opaque one means it's like no zero means fully transparent so one means it's fully opaque. Opaque, yes. So now it's not showing any error. Now we can save this code and click on apply. Yes, we got volume spread analysis indicator now in lp wow that, that, that that's really good pine man script. so i think you have converted the entire pine script code to lippy code in just few minutes right uh -huh. 